Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Smith from Backbench Coder. So this is the second part of this portfolio project. If you have not watched the introduction part, please watch that to get an idea about the final product. I'll put the link in the description box. Okay, cool. So in this section, we are going to set up our next tab using TypeScript and Tailwind CSS. So just go to your terminal, go to a directory where you want to create the app and just run npx create next app and then your app name. So npx create next app and the app name. For me, this is portfolio. Now remember the app name should not contain any capital letters, so all should be in small. So just enter, cool. So let it create the next tab. Meanwhile, let's talk about Next.js. Okay, so this is the official page of Next.js. Now there are hundreds of videos available that tell you about the absolute basics of Next.js. I don't want to bore you with the same theory again and again, but in short, Next.js is a React-based framework for building modern web applications. Now what is needed to make a modern web application? Let me talk about some of the points. First one is server-side rendering. What does it mean? It means send only those HTML to the browser which is needed to render the current web page. That's it. Just send the page as pre-rendered so that the browser does not need to process the JavaScript and create HTML out of it. I mean this is the main feature of Next.js. And then the second point is static generation. Now what does it mean? Now whenever you create an web app, try to make content static as much as possible. If you can make a page static, just make that static. You don't need to create that dynamically. It will be much much faster for the browser to render the web page, right? So Next.js provide hybrid static generation support. And then the third point is image optimization feature. Image optimization means load smaller image for the smaller device, load images lazily in the browser and some other features. Next.js provides great support for image optimization. Okay, the next point is easy routing. Next.js supports file based routing. So routing is very very easy to configure in Next.js. And then some other points like TypeScript support, CSS module support, code splitting, etc. etc. Like Next.js has all the features to make a modern web application. You can read about all of these on this official page like image optimization, Next.js analytics, zero config, hybrid, SSG, SSR. We are going to use most of the features in this app. Oh, okay, so just go back to your terminal. You have the app is created. So just go to your directory, cd to portfolio. Nice. Open this in your code editor. I'll be using VS code. Okay, so this is our basic next step. Let's talk about the folder structure. So just go inside this pages folder. Here we have two special files. One is this underscore app.js and another one is underscore document.js. Let's create that underscore document.js, which is not created by default because you don't want to mess with the underscore document.js, but we are going to mess with that. Why not? So first of all, underscore app.js. So this one is our root file. It means FD pages renders on top of this. Look at this component, it renders all the pages. And then underscore document.js. Here if you want to modify the HTML document, you can make that inside this file. And then I have this index.js. Next.js is based on file based routing. It means every file inside this pages folder is a separate route except the special files. The special files is underscore app.js and document.js. So every file except these two files are separate route. So this index.js, it means our home page. Look at this, this is some basic React. It is just exporting a basic React component. That's it. Yep, we are going to talk about this in detail. Okay, then I have this API folder. Inside this API folder, I have this hello.js. So every file inside this API folder is an endpoint. How cool is that? You can create your own API endpoint inside this Next.js framework. I love this feature. Okay, so this is API folder. And then I'm done with this pages folder. Again, I'm going to talk about this in detail throughout this project. So I mean, this is just an introduction, guys. Okay, so then I have this public folder. All the files inside this public folder will be served as static. So just put your assets inside this public folder and it will be served as static. Okay, next I have this styles folder. First one is this global.css, which is our, I mean, global CSS. Put the styles inside this file, which you want to be global. I mean, you can rename this file. And then I have this home.module.css. Now, Next.js has this CSS module support built in, so you don't need to worry about this unique class name. Like you can just literally import this CSS file as module and I can show you that. Just go to index.js, look at this. This home.module.css is been imported as styles and then just use styles.container, styles.main, styles.title. How cool is that? I love Next.js man. Okay, so I have this styles and then I have this git ignore <laughs> and then I have this package.json. Cool. Let's talk about this package.json. Okay, so first of all, the name of the project, the version, which is 0.1.0, .0, which you don't really care. And then private is true. What does it mean? It means just an extra layer of security so that you don't accidentally publish this directory as a separate library. 
I mean you are not gonna do that but again some npm random things okay and then scripts this is important there are three scripts first one is dev npm run dev it will run your development server and then build which is npm run build it will build your project just like react and then start it will run your you know production server so npm run start and then dependencies it's built on top of react so obviously react and react dom is needed and then next okay so yep we are done with this project structure okay cool let's add typescript in our project now again next.js comes with automatic typescript configuration so just change the name of the file let's change the name of the file to index.ts uh, index.ts not ts it should be tsx remember it should be tsx should be tsx 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 okay cool now just run the development server next.js will recognize that you have used typescript so you need to install some modules so control j it will open my vs code terminal okay so npm run dev it will run my project on port 3000 uh, uh, uh. yep look at this it looks like you are trying to use typescript huh? so just install these modules okay so the modules are typescript types react and types node so just copy these three modules and I'm gonna use npm not yarn so cls npm i install this as dev dependencies and then these three modules enter cool okay so let it install meanwhile let's see how we can add tailwind css in this next.js app so just go to the official documentation of tailwind css uh, uh, uh. tailwind css with what next.js click on the first link cool so create your project i've already created that setting up tailwind.css if you are using next.js version 10 which i am using next.js version 10 so just install these packages npm install tailwind latest post css and auto prefixer so just copy this command cool go to your terminal and put this here which is npm install tailwind css latest post css latest and auto prefixer latest and i am going to install this as dev dependencies cause my build will extract the css classes so i don't need the whole tailwind css things so just install this as dev dependencies and enter by the way you need to change all the extension to ts and tsx respectively so this one is document tsx whichever file is returning a component just rename this to tsx and other file is dot ts so app dot tsx oh oh hey wait app dot tsx cool and this one is hello dot ts beautiful anything else nope okay so let's run the server npm run dev cool my tailwind CS is also installed nice so my app is running on localhost 3000 we detected typescript in your project and created tsconfig.json look at this this tsconfig.json is automatically populated by next.js we can definitely change this if anything we want but we don't want that okay cool okay so our server is running on localhost 3000 so just go to localhost 3000 uh, uh, uh. internal server error wow so that's our first bug and that is because our document it should be our document come on uh, let's look at the error message yes this underscore document so we have created this underscore document.tsx but we have not created the html file so for now just just delete this underscore document.tsx just use the default which is provided by next.js behind the scene okay and then again run the server just close the server and run this again cool refresh the page and here it is and here it is and here it is okay so welcome to next.js thank you get started by editing index.js then i have this documentation learn example deploy and all okay so let's see the source code i should see all the html look at this this powered by Barsa logo get started by editing and then like all the HTMLs is here now let me show you a react app and you can see the html a pure react app i should say uh, let's go to my portfolio which is created using react so summit day.netdefy.app just go to a source code control u bunch of javascript but no html tag like i have only the title which is where it is summit the web developer that's it and then 
this JavaScript will create our HTML and render this on the browser. So there are a lot of process going on inside the browser. User will be frustrated if it just take you know more than 20 seconds. Uh, yeah. Cool. So just close this, close this, close this. Beautiful. Now I have this TypeScript setup complete and let's set up our Tailwind CSS. Oh, what happened with my voice? So first of all, we need to create our Tailwind config file. So for that, we can use a comment which is provided by Tailwind CSS. Yeah, this one npx tailwind css init with a flag p it will create our tailwind config file and the post css config file so just go to your terminal and paste this enter it should create two files yep look at this our tailwind config file here it is beautiful here we can define what are the files we need to purge just go to a documentation and yeah this one i need to purge all the tsx file so let's copy this piece of code and what does it mean by purge it will check all the files in the build process and then remove all the unnecessary css so just copy this uh, i don't need this js ts jsx i only need the tsx so just remove this brace and dot tsx also dot tsx okay so it will check all the files inside these pages and the components and then parse that okay so these pages i need to create another folder which is components so let's create that in our root directory which is not needed right now components okay so yeah are we done with this no we are not yet done we need to import the directives so for that just go to official documentation yep this one this tailwind base tailwind component and tailwind utilities tailwind not tailwind okay so just go to global.css remove all of this and put this here cool that's it save this now we don't need this home.module.css because we are not gonna use any you know simple css we are going to use tailwind css okay remove this just go to the index.tsx here we can't import this home.module.css because this file does not exist actually remove all the all the code inside this file okay now let's create a component so underscore RAFC, it will give me the boilerplate of a functional component. This is an extension of VS code, just install that. Okay, so just write something like uh, bye bye world. Cool. Now look at this, you need to export the pages as default. You need to export the pages as default, default, default. Look at this export default. You have to make the export default, okay? So yeah, bye bye world. Cool. Now it will be served as our home page. Just go to a browser, refresh the page. Beautiful, bye bye world. Let's see if Tailwind is configured or not. So for that we need to restart our server because we have just modified our config file. So npm run dev again. We don't need this terminal. npm run dev, npm run dev. The server is restarted, refresh the page. Cool, bye bye world. Now just go to elements, control shift i the shortcut and just try to add some you know tailwind css so just click on this h1 okay click on the cls just add a new class uh, text yeah look at this text 5 9 whatever base you know bg red 300 400 yeah tailwind is working fine so we are good to go all the setup complete we are ready to go with the full speed Okay, so see you in the next video and by the way guys, I will put this code in the description box. So if anything goes wrong in your code, you can just fork that repo and then and then do whatever you want to do with that. Okay, so for now, see you in the next video. Bye.